Hello, Dolphin users. Thank you for watching this video. Now let's learn how to install the DFFRP on your PC. I'm Rylo using the operating system of the Windows 7 32-bit. Okay, here are the detailed steps of how to install the DFFRP. You can have an preview of all the steps before installing it. We can say we need to connect the DFLFRP to the PC by the USB cable first, and then connect the external power cable to the DFLFRP. Okay, the USB cable, the external power cable. So next, the third step is to install the software. We need to find the latest software of the DFFRP. For example, if you are using the DFFRP for the SIGIT, you need then to find the native software of the SIGIT. Here is native software. Double click to install it. Simply click the next and follow the steps. Next. Yeah, here is the installation parts. Please remember this one. Next. Next. Yeah, you need to create a desktop icon. Next. Install. Just wait. Okay, here. Because we haven't installed the drivers for the DFLFRP, so you cannot run the DFLSD at this time. Click Finish. Okay, next step is to install the device driver and COM port driver. To install these drivers, we need to go to the device manager of your PC. Okay, go to your PC device manager. Here, we can find under the disk drives the two channels of the DFLFRP, the channel SATA and the channel PATA, the IDE channel. Okay, this means the two channels work normally, work greatly with your FRP. So, we need to check the next. Okay, after you power on your FRP, you can find the unknown devices under other device. The COM port, the serial port means the COM port. The, uh, this one is unknown device. They are unknown because you haven't installed the driver. After you install the drivers, then they are detected by the PC. Now let's install the COM port driver first. Right click on it update this driver, browse for the driver location. Okay, you can find the driver location within your installation folder of your DFLFRP. Now we can find DFLST, the DFLFRP driver, and the COM port driver, yeah, this one. Click OK. Next. Okay, now the COM port driver has been installed successfully. Here, after you install the COM port driver, then the PC has been detected as COM4. Okay. Next, let's install the driver for the DFLFRP device. Right click on it. Click update the driver, browse for the driver location, and then find the DFLFRP device driver. And I'm using the 32 bit operating system, then I select this folder for the driver location. Then click OK. Next. Okay. Allow the installation. Allow. Yeah, allow it to install. Click OK. 
Okay, here is the Universal Cerebus controller. Under it, you can find its DFL FRP device. So, after this one comes up, that is to say your device driver has been installed successfully. So now let's check the three places which are very important for you to check you have installed DFLFRP successfully. The first one is the disk drives. On those disk drives you can find the PATA channel, the SATA channel. Okay, this is the first one. Second one is the COM port, okay, the COM4. Okay, third place is the universal serial bus controller. So you need to check here you can find the DFO FRP device. So for these three places, they are okay, they have no problems, then you install it successfully. Now let's click the DFLST icon on your desktop. You will get message that your device is not registered. Click OK. Uh, you can change the parts to generate the registration file. You can name it as ST the Seagate registration file registration REG. Okay, let's click OK. Now you can click register. Right now you will find your registration registration file has been created successfully. Click OK. So after you created this registration file you need to email to sales at dolphindatalab.com or you can email to support at dolphindatalab.com then you just need to wait your dolphin engineers will send you back one dfl.dat file then you need to copy this file copy the dfl.dat file copy it copy it and then go to your installation folder dfsd then control v yeah put your dfl.dat file to this installation folder right now you have complete all the necessary stuff to start using this tool now you can click dfsd tool see you have entered this program and you can now collect the patient hard drives to your DFLFRP and then power on the hard drives and you can start using the powerful firmware repair functions within this program and start your firmware repair jobs. Okay, let's end here today. Thank you for watching. Bye. Here today. Thank you for watching. Bye.